Welcome to Teen Time with the Livermore Public Library. My name is Caitlin and I am your teen programming librarian. Today we have a special nature themed teen time where first I will share with you some nature photography tips. Then I will share with you a new program that's designed to help you learn how to use our digital resources. And then librarian Jennifer has two beach themed book recommendations just for you. Let's go take a look. Whether you are exploring a trail near your house or a far off jungle, there are several things even a beginner can do to improve their photographs. A well-traveled, kindly photographer that I know, who wishes to remain anonymous, has put together nine tips for me to share with you so that you too can take some gorgeous pictures of the natural world. Along with these tips, my photographer friend has allowed me to share some of her photographs to use as illustrative examples. Let's take a closer look. Nature photography tip number one. Except for landscapes, closer is better. You'll get a better photo if you zoom in a bit to capture some of the finer details of your subject. Tip two, use portrait mode to blur the background. Portrait mode isn't just for people. Use it to make your subject really stand out. Tip three, put your subject slightly off center. Technically called the rule of thirds, your photographs will be more interesting if the subject isn't dead center in the frame. Tip four, overcast days are great for photography. Bright sunlight can leave harsh shadows. So don't worry if it's a little cloudy, it'll be easier to get a good shot. Tip five, use your camera's flash. Flash isn't just for low light conditions. Use it on sunny days to get rid of shadows or to compensate for a harsh backlight. Tip six, shoot one to two hours before sunset. It's called golden hour for a reason. The warm glow and soft light before the sun sets makes this an ideal time to shoot. Tip seven, think outside the box. Look for interesting reflections, textures, or patterns. Extreme close-ups of natural designs can make for some really cool photos. Tip eight, look for distracting items in a scene. Garbage cans, power lines, cars, or people can distract from the intended subject of your photo. Check and adjust if necessary before you take a picture. And last we have tip nine. Use a fast shutter speed for moving subjects. You don't need a fancy camera to adjust your shutter speed and eliminate the blurring of a subject in motion. Depending on your smartphone's camera app, look for settings called shutter speed, sports mode, or motion mode. Any of these options should allow you to take better pictures of moving targets. So that's it. I hope you're able to use these tips to take some beautiful photographs. Are you on Instagram? Tag us in some of your spectacular shots. We'd love to see what you can do. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can make an appointment to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom tutorial on how to use our digital resources. Let's take a look. To make an appointment with a digital library computer tutor, first, go to the library's website, www.livermorelibrary.net. Click through the banner near the top of the page until you see the advertisement for this service. Click on the picture to learn more. To make an appointment, you can call the library at 925-373-5505, or you can click on this link to be taken to an online request form. On the request form, fill in your name and email so that a librarian can contact you about arranging for an appointment. Let us know what kind of a device you'll be using. Notice that we do offer help for Apple, Android, and Windows devices. Our digital library computer tutors are librarians who can help you access a variety of different resources that are free with your library card. And they can even give you some tips for navigating Zoom if you need a little help using the app. Submit the form and a librarian will contact you within two business days. Appointments are typically held Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. However, our librarians are flexible and will try to work with you to find a time that is convenient. Once the appointment has been scheduled, your computer tutor will email you an invitation to the Zoom meeting. At the time of the meeting, 
please click on the link in the email, sign in using the provided password, and be ready to learn. Appointments typically last 30 minutes, and we do limit you to one appointment per person per week. If you need it, I hope you give this service a try. Our computer tutors are happy to help. Librarian Jennifer has picked out two beach reads for you to enjoy this summer. Let's take a look. Your teen services crew have recently visited the California beaches. Getting our toes in the sand and smelling the ocean air was rejuvenating. Yes, we social distance while enjoying the views. So, in light of our recent beach time, this week we bring you two reads that will take you away to the beach, even if you cannot get there physically. First up is E. Lockhart's We Were Liars. A beautiful and distinguished family, a private island, a brilliant damaged girl, and a passionate political boy, and a group of four friends, the Liars, whose friendship turns destructive, a revolution, an accident, a very big lies upon lies and if anyone asks you how it ends just lie well librarian jennifer will not lie this was a masterpiece but truly if you talk about it with anyone make sure you've finished it too much talking will ruin the experience there are books that can get talked around before all have read it then there are books like We Were Liars that you just hand to your friends and say, read it, and then come talk to me. Librarian Jennifer read this in a single sitting, and when she finished, she felt like, now that she knew what happened, holy cow, what happened? She needed to pick it back up and read it again, or at least parts of it. Flat out, a masterpiece. If you need something a bit more visual to get into the beach feel, grab the graphic novel This One Summer by the cousins Mariko Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki. It takes the Summer at the Beach House story to a whole new level. Every summer, Rose goes with parents to a lake house. It's their getaway, their refuge. Rosie's friend Wendy is always there too, like the little sister she never had. But this summer is different. Rose's folks won't stop fighting, and when Rose and Wendy seek distraction from the drama, they find themselves with a whole new set of problems. It's a summer of secrets and sorrow and growing up, and it's a good thing Rose and Wendy have each other. The beautiful, captivating illustrations convey volumes, and librarian Jennifer especially found refreshing that these were real girls with different backgrounds, body types, family situations, and problems. We hope you enjoy one or both of these selections that are available on Overdrive. And if you prefer to hold an actual book, now that curbside pickup by appointment has started, you could request a physical copy online. So that's it for today's Teen Time with the Livermore Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy your nature photography tips and I hope that if you need it, you do make use of the Computer Tutor program. It's a great resource to help you learn how to use our digital resources. And of course, Jennifer picked out some great beach reads, so sink your toes into the sand, grab a good book, and I will see you next time.